Hi, I'm Kevin Brown, product specialist for BSS Audio. In this video series, I'll give a hardware overview and detailed introduction to SoundWeb London, our flagship product line of digital signal processors for installed sound applications. SoundWeb London performs three core functions for audio signals, processing, control, and distribution. Here's how it all works from a very high level. First, a programmer downloads and installs free software onto a Windows-based PC. Either our old software, London Architect, or our new software, Audio Architect, can be used. She then uses that software to configure the device. SoundWeb London devices have Open Architecture DSP, meaning their internal signal path is 100% customizable with an extensive menu of audio processing objects. These processing objects allow you to manipulate audio signals in a wide variety of ways. She connects these processing objects together using virtual wires to form a custom block diagram. She then loads that block diagram from the PC to the device over Ethernet. And from that point on, the Sound of London will receive, process, and transmit audio according to the block diagram. Additionally, from that point on, end users can control the SoundWeb London using a wide variety of controllers, including Windows-based PCs running free software from Harman, iOS devices running the HiQnet motion control app, Ethernet and serial-based third-party control systems such as AMX, Ethernet-based wall controllers from BSS, simple analog electrical components, or even prefabricated analog wall controllers from BSS consisting of those components, a simple push button found on the front and rear of the device, the 12 buttons found on any phone capable of making DTMF tones, automatic control based on a schedule, and you can even use the amplitude of audio signals as a control language for SoundWeb London. Double-clicking a processing object reveals its parameters. With only a few exceptions, all of these parameters can be controlled in real time by all aforementioned controllers. For example, you can use an iPad to control the volume and mute of a microphone going to multiple zones. Now, that's an extremely simple example, but it's really all up to the system designer. Both the block diagram and the system of controllers can be as simple or elaborate as needed.